Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have a very exciting album to open up here, but as you can probably already tell, I have opened it already, so I do know what's inside. But first and foremost, this video is sponsored by Light Up K. We have once again partnered together as we have in the past, and I am here to unbox an album with you guys. But I wanted to do a little bit of a spin on my Light Up K collaboration videos. So today I'm actually gonna also take you through their website and how to use it. And you know, maybe I might just buy some things and I might also have a little code for you guys. So do stay tuned for that. So before we get into the unboxing of this beautiful Psychers album, let's take a look at the Light Up K website. Okay, so here we have the Light Up K website. We are here on the homepage where you can see literally a whole overview of the website. It is a very easy to use website. I absolutely love shopping on this website, so I highly recommend checking it out. As you can see at the top over here, we do have free shipping across Canada and the US for orders over $55 Canadian. So most albums on this website, I would say like the average album cost is anywhere between $29.99-ish to like $39.99-ish, depending obviously on the album. But that means that basically you buy two albums and the shipping is free. And that is just amazing, if I do say so myself. So there is the first little highlight. And then as you can see, we do have a whole menu here. I love to go through the little pre-order tab because I'm usually pretty up to date in terms of the albums that I want to own. So usually the albums that I am purchasing are pre-order albums. However, I am a little behind now because of Woods. I'm not able to spend as much money on all of the other artists that I want to buy some albums from, and that is because I know Woods is going to run me dry. But let's just take a quick look at all of the different pre-order albums here. They update this instantly. Basically, the second there's album details or even an album announcement, for some artists, they will just literally update the website instantly so as you can see we already have idols new album we have some peak time which <sighs> i started watching peak time and then the group that i was rooting for um had to step down from the show for reasons which it, it was i don't know so anyways i'm salty about it because i guarantee you if they didn't step down they would have made the top six and maybe I would have pre-ordered <laughs> one of these albums but anyway that is the story for another day we have one I was about to say one we no we have one us's new album which was literally just announced the other day we have espa's new album which was just announced the other day there's a lot here as you can see so there's actually some things here that i want to add to my wish list which is a feature that i've been using a lot more commonly recently and that is because i kind of use it as a way to keep track of the albums that i do want to purchase once i can purchase them after woods's comeback is said and done so that being said, I do want a 1S album. What I'm noticing here, though, is they have the Polka album and the Jewel Case, but I don't see... Oh, there it is. I was like, I don't see the regular edition. It's right here. So I recently... Not recently semi-recently decided to only purchase one version of an album per release for 1S and as of lately they've been doing just kind of one regular version like the main version as it says here and then they'll do like extra things like a jewel case or now a polka album which I'm kind of curious about I've never bought a polka album before but because all of my other 1S albums are this size this is kind of the one that I want to go for so instead of clicking add to cart I'm just going to click on the album itself and then over here on the side once it all loads where what where'd it go oh here it is here's the add to wishlist button so I'm just going to push that in order to add things to your wishlist you do need to have an account on the website but that's super easy to to uh, set up for yourself so I would just look into that but so I do also want an Espa album however I am unsure of which version I want currently looks like there's a poster version tabloid version intro version and zine version there's a, a lot of options here and in typical SM fashion I'm pretty sure we have no details 
on what any of them include, how big they are, what they look like. No, there's nothing. So what I'm going to do is just add the zine version to my wish list, just so I have a reminder of an ESPA album. And then once we get more album details, I can go back and actually put the one in my wish list that I do truly want. Because again, ESPA is a group in which I'm only going to collect one version of the album for. So there's that. Now, is there anything else? Let's scroll down a little bit for a second, just so I make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm gonna go back up to the top two because I wasn't really fully paying attention to what I was looking at, but yeah, I think I've just reached a section of the pre-order section <laughs> that I've already seen before and added to my cart, so yeah, I don't think, I don't want Idol, yeah, so I think that's good. I will show you what I do have in my wish list currently. So as you can see, we have Espa, we have One Us, we have Kiyuk from One We, uh, formerly known as Kia. He has recently changed his stage name and is dropping a solo album. So I'm very interested in it. I put it in my wish list because I don't know if I'm actually going to buy a physical copy of this yet, but I do want to remind myself of it. I am definitely going to listen to it. Um, I just don't know that I will purchase anything well we'll see we'll see then we have extinary heroes we have the the regular version as well as the i don't know if these are jewel cases or what they're going to be yet but we'll see i put them both in my wish list because i don't know what i want i'll probably end up getting the two regulars but we'll see then i have august d aka yungi aka sugar whatever you want um i do want one copy of the regular version and then one weverse as well and then let's see we have a whole bunch of la seraphim we have 17 we have nct doje jung which just actually dropped today at the time of me filming this and i absolutely love it and then we have 10 which i still need one of those this is i think the only album in which is actually released other than like doje jung which just came out today otherwise everything else is a pre-order album in my wish list um i do want to place an order today for doje jung however for this box version i specifically want do young's version and i'm gonna go over into here but because it's pre-order i am unable to choose which version i want currently when it is a pre-order pre-order album on their website they do not let you choose the version however once the albums are in stock most of the time almost like 99 percent of the time you can go in and choose which version you want so i'm going to keep this version in my wish list that way when it's actually in stock at the store in their warehouse i can choose the doyoung version and buy that later so what i'm gonna do is probably order pre-order um Agusti. because there's two versions here i could wait and choose which version i want but i've looked at the details and honestly i don't care which one i get so in this case i'm okay with getting a random one so i'm probably gonna add this to my cart i'm gonna go back to my wish list we're gonna add the weavers version to my cart for those who don't know by the way uh yunki is my bias i I've kind of slowed down on my BTS collecting. Oh no, I went back too far. But um, I definitely, definitely want Yuki's album. So we're going to get that. Um, and then I'm going to add a Doje Jung. I believe there's only, is there only one version of the photo book? I'm assuming, I think it's just one version for this. And then they also have like Digi Packs and S Minis and the box version that I just showed you. So I think, I definitely want this version the photo book version and then i'll decide like i said i was gonna get the doyoung box version but if i want his digi pack instead or his s mini instead maybe i'll get those but as of right now i'm thinking i want the box but anyway we're gonna add this to my cart did i do it already i think i did already right i did okay um and i think that's all i'm gonna get today i i would get 10 but i kind of don't have the money for that so <laughs> uh yeah like i said don't have a lot of money to be spending but for uh today's video i am going to be buying these three items so i'm just going to hit checkout as you can see my total is 96 dollars and 70 cents currently but wait did it just oh my god that scared the shit out of me i thought i paid but i didn't pay and i'm not going to show you what the screen looks like right now because my address is right there but what I want to do, I'm going to go back. 
So I do have a code that you can use. It's not going to work for me right now because it won't be activated until this video goes live. But as you can see down here, we have the code HONEYDO5. And if you type in that code when you're checking out on Light Up K, you can get 5% off of your order. So if you want to get a little bit of a discount on some albums that you've been looking to purchase, there you go. You can have my little code and just a friendly reminder that it is free shipping to US and Canada once you've spent $55 or more, which like I said, you buy two albums and you're basically right there. So yeah, there we go. That was a little look at the Light Up K website. And now we can do a little mini unboxing of an album that I got from them recently. All right, so now that we've gone through the website and we've done a little bit of shopping, I can open this album with you guys. So I did get this a little while ago and I have filmed a TikTok slash short slash reel of me unboxing it in full. So if you do want to see that, you can go ahead and check that out. But yes, as mentioned, I have already opened it, I know what's inside, and now I'm going to show you. So, let's just open it. Actually, first, let's look at the box. Look at this. Stunning. Looks like a little pizza box. I absolutely love this packaging. I actually also very much so love this album. It has been on repeat for me. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it, which is why I didn't pre-order it. Um, I wanted to hear it first, but I don't know why I thought I needed to hear it first. It was obviously going to be a banger of an album, and it was. So we have all the members' names here. I'm still kind of learning, but um, I've definitely been watching some more content of them lately just so I could get to know them and their personalities and hopefully choose a bias because initially four members <laughs> stood out to me but I think I have made a decision and we will get there so yeah you just kind of open it up and you have this and when I tell you when I first opened this album it smelled so good you guys it smelled so good oh my god but you open it up and here's what's inside so I'm just gonna kind of take everything out so that we can get this box out of the way for now let's take a quick look at the photo book so this is the photo book on the outside i should mention the version of the album that i got i believe is the hiker version i actually do like <laughs> the cover of the other version of the album the white pizza box looking album however i liked the concepts more so in this so i had to make a decision and this is the decision that I made because I'm only going to be collecting them pretty casually, I think. So one version of an album is good enough for me, but I loved this concept. So that's the one I went with. But we can take a look at the members because I want to show you who stood out to me at first. So Minjay was one of them. And I believe that he is going to be bias number one. Like, I think he's in the top spot. So he wasn't at first, but then I watched a couple things and I was like, yeah, okay, I like you. <laughs> so I think it's going to be Minjay. Now another runner up will be Sumin for me. I think he's very cute. And I love, oops, and I love his wrapping. Now the member who stood out to me first was Jinshik. He has a very pretty face. So he also stood out to me. And then last but not least, upon initial watch of the music video, the other last member that stood out to me was Ye Chen. I love his rapping. So good. A rapper will always get me. However, upon watching more contents, I will tell you that... Where is he? I gotta find him. Uh, Jungwoon. He's hilarious. He's so weird. He's basically... Yasang 2.0, but like just slightly weirder. <laughs> and I love him. So yes, but I think Minjay is going to be the bias for me. So next up, we can look at the poster that came with. Hopefully I can fit the whole thing on camera. I don't know. Yeah, I can kind of. <laughs> um, so there they all are. Love this. I will say though, I've seen the poster from the other version and I think I prefer it a little bit more, but that's okay because I don't really use posters anyway. Then we have the CD. So here we go. We have the track list right here, actually. I was going to try and tell you like what my favorite songs are, but honestly, it's the whole album. But the title track, Tricky House, is great. I also really love Doorbell Ringing. I love Rockstar, Psyche, and Oh My Gosh. I mean, 
what did I skip? I skipped dynamic, but isn't that the one where it's just like instrumental, right? What is going on outside? There is a loud car and I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then this is what the uh, CD looks like itself. So there is that. But like I said, I really don't like think there's a single flop on this album. Every song is so, so, so good. And I highly recommend checking out, especially if you love ATs not only because they're their little brother group but the sound not it's not obviously the exact same sound they sound different from ATs 100% but you can tell that they're part of the same family if that makes sense like if you vibe with ATs you're gonna vibe with psychers next up we have this postcard which I absolutely love I kind of wish this was the poster I don't know why I just kind of love that it looks like a class photo <laughs> but yes oh my gosh i just noticed his hair that's so funny but there we go we have this cute little square postcard it is quite thick nice paper love that we have a little flip book this album came with so much you guys but if you watch quickly they're all gonna turn and look at you oh that was maybe a little too quick sorry there we go so little flip book pretty cute and then we have this little pouch of stuff which as you can see i have already opened so we have this little pack of cards and on it we have little like clover designs and messages so i assume each member drew their own little like four leaf clover and yeah so we have different ones for every single member i'm just gonna go through them quickly because i'm sure there are a lot of unboxings if you actually want to see some pretty thorough unboxings of multiple multiple copies <laughs> i highly recommend checking out song Wu's youtube channel i can link it down below but they have been unboxing multiple multiple versions from barnes and noble from hello 82 etc etc so if you want a closer look at some of those versions of the album i highly recommend checking out their channel then we have a little magnet when we first got these so my roommate and I actually went uh shopping recently on the weekend and he bought himself a copy of the album as well and when this came out of his album he thought it was a pog if you know what a pog is congratulations <laughs> and then next up we have this sticker it's one giant sticker kind of looks like a diner sign or like the Las Vegas sign type of vibe pretty cool like I said there's a lot of stuff in here <laughs> And then we got a little Polaroid, and I'm pretty sure that's Jungun, who I think is absolutely hilarious. As I said, I am still getting to know all of the members, but I'm like 99% certain that that is him. Super cute. And then last but not least, well, hold on, let me put this little paper back there. And then last but not least, we have the photo card. So this is the photo card that I pulled, and... We have Jinmin. So he is actually my old roommates. I'm just gonna say Jesse. He is Jesse's bias. So Jesse and I always pull each other's biases. It happens every single time, <laughs> most of the time. And uh, yeah, so I was gonna hold on to this for him. But then, like I said, we met up on the weekend. We went shopping and he ended up buying a copy of the album. I didn't know that he was intending to. <laughs> so, um, he gave me his pull already since we are definitely going to be trading i just didn't bring him with me because i didn't know jesse was going to be buying a copy of the album that day but <laughs> jesse's pull was you guessed it minche <laughs> so as per usual we pull each other's biases so he gave me the card on the spot right there because he knows where i live i know where he lives <laughs> I'm gonna definitely bring this card to him the next time I see him which will be very soon for the only one of concert which I'm so excited about but oh let me bring it back so yeah didn't pull both of these out or photo cards in one album obviously but um yeah we got pretty lucky there with our pulls as per usual I feel like light up K just always comes through so yes there you have it that was my little mini unboxing of Psyker's House of Tricky album like I mentioned earlier I do have a discount code for you guys so you can type the code honeydew 5 at checkout and you will get 5% off of your order the next time you shop online at lightupk.com.
And remember, they have shipping available worldwide and free shipping to USA and Canada if you spend $55 or more. I hope you'll go and check them out. I hope you have a happy time shopping and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.